What's the biggest takeaway you've had from this entire thing? Moving to LA, being with the roommates in the 90s, hmm. making carving, destroying it, moving away. My big break comes out of it. What's the biggest takeaway? Um, the outcome, the lesson. It's like, like so if I'm understanding what you mean by that is um, you learn so much once you fall and then you find a way out. And then suddenly like the whole process, the whole town, the business makes so much sense. Because when we moved here, um, as we all know, you meet people that always tell you, oh, you know, this person was here and they did X, Y, and now they live somewhere else, or now they're doing very well, or like this one committed suicide, or this one is very happy. And here you go, what are you talking about? It make, made no sense to us. It made no sense that actually people go through that in this town. They actually, they make it or they don't make it, or they break down and they go crazy or they're like riding high and very happy or they're very happy and pretentious and then they lose everything. And so it makes no sense to you when you arrive here that it's like, what are you talking about? So when you go through it and then you um, kind of get smacked and fall and then you rise up again and you start working again or you start to pursue what you wanted to pursue, I think it all starts to make a lot of sense to you. And the people that are working start to make sense to you. It's like, um, it's almost like a, a process that you almost have to go through. It's like if you don't struggle, it's just not going to work. Because you don't appreciate creating. So, it, because part of creating is that you're going to create and then you're going to lose it and then you're going to recreate. And then suddenly once you know how to do that, it's almost you maneuver faster, you maneuver quicker, and you've been through it before. So you got to teach yourself somehow, aside from what we thought in the, in the beginning, is that teaching yourself is just going through it once, or reading about it at Borders or Barnes & Noble, or watching a YouTube video. It's, it's, it's just never enough. You have to kind of, you know, it's like if you want to be a filmmaker, you have to make a movie. You have to edit it, you have to release it, you have to lose it or make it or sell it, but you have to go through the whole process. If you're an actor, and the same thing with the guys, you have to go to auditions, you have to get parts, you have to get fired by your agent, you have to look for another manager, you have to have years that no one wants to represent you, you have to, you know, put yourself on camera or take a headshot on a puller. I mean, whatever, whatever people had to do or they do now, you just have to go through it. So that's the answer for self-preservation. We've heard this quote by Dee Wallace that mm. if you believe the the good, then you also have to believe the bad. You have to take it all. Right. Yeah, because they're the same in a weird way. They're almost connected. It's, you can't get to the good without the bad. And it's like, you can't ch pick and choose, especially in a business like that where it's very difficult to access things. You know, it's not like you're studying to be an accountant. And, you know, there's how many people work on a movie, you know, and how many movies do, you know, people make every day or television shows or... So yeah, of course you have to go through the... You have to be more realistic about the business and learn the ins and outs and... Or the no in, no out. You know, it's very, you know... And if you're into it, it's... It makes a lot of sense. And if you're not into it, it'll drive you crazy. And that's when the sabotage comes in, like you were talking about earlier, yeah. Mm -hmm. So any mantra for self-preservation? Like if you could look back now to the late 90s, what would um, you have told Tony Zira then? Um, I stick to your guns. Like be very, it's like I was very super determined. You, you couldn't get me to sway. Um, a lot of times I heard that either the movie's not gonna work, you'll never release it, you'll never finish it, you'll never find anybody to let you edit. I never listened to any of that stuff. But now I look at it, I go, I feel like there was also another level above that that I wasn't seeing, which is the extreme, you know, like extreme. I guess because I was extreme or people felt I was extreme. But I drove people crazy too, because I was very, I was extreme. It's like I was gonna get it done and I was very determined. I think maybe, I, don't take it, it's like you could be upset and sad about the business and what it does to you or if you lose something. But the lesson I would say now is that don't take it as hard as probably I took it. You know, you just gotta let Christ do it again. You know, 